What's up, homie? In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to use the column A tool. And I'm going to be answering two questions I was sent by two subscribers. Okay, so the column A tool is this icon right here, or you click F4. I'm going to go ahead and click F4. The column A tool is a super simple tool that, over, that a lot of people overthink it and think it's really difficult to use. It's not. You're going to have a left side and a right side. Where you where you click on your left side and your right side, both of them connected, um, those two points connected are going to form an angle. So let's say I'm just going to be going to make straight points. Right? So this is the an angle, this is the an angle, and this is the an angle. Um, every time that you're working with the column A tool, you can have a left side and a right side. Uh, left click is to make straight points. And then right click is to make curved points. I think I was too close to show you guys the example of what left um, a right click to make it curve. Okay, there we go. Curve. And each, like your left click, your left point, and then your right point is going to make an angle. But you could also change your angles. And your points will stay the same. And you could also adjust your points on them. So I had a subscriber ask me how I would digitize this license plate. And most, I, I believe for the most part, it's extremely easy. Um, and I had another subscriber ask me how I would digitize this logo if the welcome didn't have that Arabic font or text and my answer to both of them is to manually digitize them okay so welcome does have a font library and it will help you create text but sometimes the text font isn't what you need on some designs and you would have to manage, digi manually digitize it so i'm using the column a tool um so for this arabic font it's literally like the perfect tool to use okay. Great, great, curve, curve, curve. That's too much of a curve, let me see. Curve, 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 and then straight. Enter. And same thing over here. enter okay the only thing about manually digitizing text is you have to figure out when to put one of the objects in the back and the front but you can always figure it out Let's see great great curve curve great great and it makes these straight as well enter and then over here. Curve. Great. Curve. Great. Enter. It doesn't look bad, but when you embroider it, the this part of the end should be in the front. And this should go first. Let me change the color for it. Black. Also, the column A tool could be used right here. It doesn't always. It doesn't have to be used for font. It also could be used for outlines like this part right here. So let me see. Curve, curve, curve. Enter. And then from right here, I could just pick up. Let's see, right here. Enter. We have that part done. All right, let's see here. I feel like each of them is going to go on its own side. Enter. Run to over here. Curve. 
curve, 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 straight, curve, straight, curve, straight, curve, straight, curve, curve, straight, straight, curve, curve, straight, straight, enter. So remember on the column A tool, let me change this to black. All of it. Each um each point formed an angle. But if you don't like it, you could always click on remove stitch angles and stitch angles again and you could just give it, it its own um angles again. All right, another example of where I could use the column A tool would be like, let's say this Nigerian flag. Let me make the white one first. All right, white, and then Shift D, I mean Control D, and then Control D again. These two green. All right, so. Some of you are probably asking why did I put them okay, let me just it real quick. How much is that? That's a good amount. Okay, when I'm digitizing and I'm using the column A tool, let's say for this flag, right? Instead of it being like perfectly apart where exact lines are, like right here. The reason is why is because when I digitize and embroider this part of the flag, it's a satin stitch and it's going to pull the fabric. And if I don't overlap it the way I did, when it embroiders the green part, it's going to be a gap. So that's why I, that's why I overlap them. So when it embroiders, it embroiders together and it looks nice and there's no gap. Another example would be this a let me see column a let me start over here enter change it to blue blue i'm gonna run down here column a I could just this part right here. Enter. You can run to the other side. Remember, always overlap. So when I get down here, I got to touch this first shirt to cover it. Okay. Enter. Okay, now from this one, I'm going to run to the top. And I'm going to use the column A tool again. I'm going to overlap this part and this part over here. And you could just make sure it's like on. If you click on S, you can see the last line. Just click right next to that line. Hit enter. And that's how we digitize this A from this license plate. And the same thing applies to this part of the Lagos one. Let's say for the A. Enter. Let's start right here. Here. And all of these black. And for the smaller letters, um, all you would have to do is use the run tool. This one. 
and i would highly recommend you just click shift x on it on each one that basically just make it more defined let's see for this shift x shift x run to the top right here shift x this will make everything stand out and then for this one is literally you could just use the complex fill I'm going to be doing it pretty quick, just to give an example of it. Enter, exit, and give it angle, shift M. I'm at the Tripunto effect. That will give it that border, which will cover that green part. Um, let's see. You could leave it like that and make it green. But for, for it, honestly, I would just add, a, increase the spacing on it. Like 0.8. Or one. Yeah, I'll just increase it to like one. Just to give it a different effect because the the letters are gonna be over it. Let's see this one. What if it was blue? So for this letter. Okay, yeah. So like watch it goes right here. And it will stand out. Okay, so that was a little quick rundown of basically the column tool and just answering two questions. Um I'm I'm gonna go more in depth on both of them. I'm gonna digitize this one and I'm gonna digitize this one as well. So we could Decide it together in an embroider, but for now, I mean, I'm just gonna leave this video so you guys could practice, see what you guys do. And in my next video, I'm gonna be covering most likely this logo and then I'm gonna make this logo. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. So just remember the key points are uh, for column eight, it's gonna have a left side and a right side, and they form angles. And you could change the angle still, and you could adjust the points. And also, right clicking makes curve points. You can also go back, press H, and add points. And you can also click points and delete them. And if you hold Shift while clicking them, I mean, yeah, hold Shift to select multiple points that you can delete. Or you could also hold, if you want to select the exact points to delete. You can just hold control. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next video will be a digitizing complete one using the column A tool. So I'm going to be digitizing this design and then this. One. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below or send me a message on Instagram with the image and I'll try to cover it on the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you on the next one. Bye.